My name is Coach Tamon Johnson. I'm going to show you how to pin squat. So the pin squat is a squat variation that's used to improve an athlete's concentric strength out of the hole. It also helps improve technical inefficiencies like the good morning squat or if your upper back loses tightness when you're coming out of the hole. So when you're performing the pin squat, you want to keep it simple and keep it similar to your normal squat technique. You're going to set up just like you do a normal squat, unwrap the bar. The biggest thing you want to make sure you remember is trying to hold tightness throughout your entire body. Making sure you're staying tight throughout the gut, your feet are in a stable place. Eyes are forward, like normal squat technique. And when you squat down, you wanna make sure you sit on the pin so the weight can unload on the pins, pause for a second, and then explosively drive upwards towards lockout. So here we go. When you're setting up the pins, you want to make sure the pins are pretty much at 90 degrees or just below 90 degrees, wherever your sticking point typically is when you're coming out of the hole. If the pins are set at that 90 degree hip angle, you limit that stretch reflex that you would normally get out of a typical squat, and then you have to force your body to stay tight in its position to then drive off those pins explosively. So there are three common mistakes when you're performing the pin squat. The first is when you unrack and you set up on the pins, you're going down to that squat, you just bottom out. Essentially, you just lose all tightness at the bottom and you don't try to hold any tightness at all and you just lose that tension in your body. That's not good. When you lose that tightness and you actually have a load on your body that's meant to help create a stimulus, it's not gonna be safe for you, you can get hurt. The second common mistake is when you just slam the bar on the pins without actually unloading the weight and actually utilizing the, the pin squat the way it should be done. That's just a regular squat and you're not getting anything out of it. The third common mistake is when you do a glorified pause squat over the pins rather than actually sitting on the pins. Again, you're not doing the exercise correctly and you're not getting anything out of that. Pin squats should be used as a compound movement, typically at the beginning of your workout. They can be done for four to six sets, anywhere from two to five reps. The rest time will be between two and five minutes, depending on the load that you're utilizing for the pin squat. If you want more content like this, remember to like, subscribe, and follow our Peak Strength app at peakstrength.app. And remember, freaks, if you want to become a champion, you always have to cultivate your power. Peace.